Alright, so today's video is, um, this is kind of stepping away for a little bit from chemistry, and this is about a topic I had a friend ask me about, the speed of light, and what does it mean that a person can age a different amount of years than another person? So I came up with this metaphor that pretty much illustrates the effects, but not the reasoning of why. It kind of does the why, but it doesn't give you the math as to saying, oh, well, space warps this way, or the space-time curves kind of jumps out of the fabric and then reforms in a separate place. So imagine time as like a river. Yes, that's a river. Don't judge me. And let's say the speed of light is approximately we'll say two meters per second and it's always going this way to the right now as we live our lives we are always trying to fight the speed of light always going against it that's in the that's in the for this metaphor that's not necessarily true sometimes I don't know how but you might want to go with the speed of light so you're always trying to go against it. And generally, you don't really get too far. You might get to 0 0.0001 meters per second in the opposite direction. So let's say we have person one and person two, both of them swimming against the current. Let's say person one just sticks within the reasonable 0 0.001 against current. So that means that, let's just say that each meter here represents one year. So in four seconds, this person would have traveled eight, eight meters and would have traveled technically eight years. But if a person's fighting against it, person two. Let's say that person two manages 1.5 meters per second. So in the four seconds that person one spent going eight, this guy's going, he went six. Wrong. See, I tricked you up with the math. See, what happens is when you're going 1.5 meters per second, you're not saying you're going 1.5 meters per second to the right. You're saying you're fighting the current. So when the current's going this way two by two, you're going the other way by 1.5. You're actually, you subtract the two, and you go in the direction that's stronger, the two meters per second, so you end up going to the right by 0.5. So in this case, it takes four seconds for person one to get to eight, but in those same four seconds, you only get to two. So you've traveled two years through time. Pretty confusing stuff, I know. It's more of a visualization of what happens. What actually happens has to do with relativity and how light kind of can't catch up with you once you start approaching. Well, it catches up to you slower as you approach the speed of light, but that's much more complicated for another video, even for some college physics classes.